Today is World Hepatitis Day. The breakfast this morning will join the rest of the world to raise awareness to this group of infectious diseases known as hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. That's our first hot topic. And Nigeria risks U.S. market over uneven AGOA utilization. AGOA is the African Growth and Opportunity Act. What's all this about? We'll take a look at it as our second hot topic this morning on The Breakfast. There'll be off the press. We'll have an analyst join us to dissect the stories that made it to the headlines on some of the national dailies this morning. Hello there. Good morning to you. I am Maureen Menongwe Zigwain. Such a pleasure to have you join us this morning on The Breakfast. How are you doing? I hope it's been a great morning so far. It's 7 o'clock and here we go with the very first top trending. Uni Ilori rolls out palliative measures for students and staff. Well, the management of the University of Ilori has deployed three luxurious buses to convey students and staff of the institution to and from the campus at peak periods, free of charge, to cushion the effects of fuel subsidy removal. A statement issued on Thursday by the institution's director of corporate affairs, Mr. Kunle Akagon, said that the palliative measure, which was in addition to earlier ones, was announced by the vice chancellor, Professor Wahab, SAN, at the end of the 296th meeting of Senate of the institution. Egbowale, who expressed management's deep concern over the adverse effect of the exorbitant transportation costs on members of the university community, said that the deployment of the buses was in furtherance to the earlier provision of highly subsidized transportation in which two buses were put on the road in June for a fare of 100 naira per trip. The vice chancellor pointed out that the university management, being aware that the cost of transportation was biting harder, decided to deploy an additional bus to the route and make the three buses free of charge for students and staff. Well, that's a good move in the right direction there from Uni Lorry. Free buses for students and staff to and fro. Kudos to you. Second top trending, the federal government has reacted to the seven-day ultimatum issued by the Nigeria Labor Congress. The NLC has threatened to embark on a strike if the federal government does nothing to reverse the effects of some of its economic policies that have led to increased cost of living in the country. The Congress accused the federal government of showing enormous disdain and contempt for the Nigerian people. By reacting to the strike notice, the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Justice, B. Agba, stated that should the NLC carry out its threat, it will be undermining a court order which bars it from going on strike. The permanent secretary also asked the NLC to explore other means of negotiations with the federal government rather than resorting to self-help and undermining the orders of the court. Okay, so there you have it. The NLC has been, some would say, gagged, barred. The federal government has gone to court to get, to get an injunction to stop the organized labor from protesting. Is that democratic, even though it came from the courts, do you think? Share your thoughts with us. Go to our social, uh, different social media handles and let us know your thoughts on this. Shouldn't the NLC be able to express their thoughts on any matter? I mean, this is democracy, right? Is the federal government right in going to court to get an injunction two months into the, this administration to gag the organized labor from expressing themselves with their, whichever way they chose to? I mean, I've never seen an NLC strike uh, being violent. So what's the problem? But let's have your take on this. Um, that's what it is. They have given their seven-day ultimatum warning. They are warning the federal government that they're going to go on strike. 
and the federal government is saying, no, we have a court injunction in place barring you from going on strike. Okay, so those are the top trending this morning on the breakfast. It's Friday Flex edition of the breakfast. We take things a little bit easy on Friday. So um, relax with your cup of coffee. I have mine. We'll be back in a moment with all the press. Stay with us.